a believer of holistic development lazima tujenge hawa watu wote so kuna project nimefanya za kusaidia watu ina uniform pale mtaani wenye amerarukiwa because of my own personal experience some time back nilikuwa shule yani ngo ilikuwa imeruka kishot naona watu wana nipoke hold because ya the level of poverty sengine tulikuwa na dem wangu nilipata anga tulipata anga colleges wewe mm-hmm. sasa bibi nilikuwa jawab mzoto sana mm-hmm. sasa bibi ile time ilikuwa mbele second year yeye ndiye alikuwa anaingia first year eh hey, sasa bibi liko na anga yelo yelo fulani hapo wao sasa nikauliza mtu fanya nini kugari dem kama huyu nitoka mm-hmm. na diploma yako jenga na na ni na na nikatoka na nikatoka na mtoto <laughs> <laughs> napenda kusikiza at least ndasikiza worship lakini the main music bro nataka ningekuwa pasta mm-hmm. acha ah, changu nikawa na japariki Mm. <laughs> Who is your favorite reggae artist? Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Eh, yeah. si tugongee kamoja kake. One love one heart. Hello and welcome to Tuko Siasa. My name is Kingori Wangeshi. This week our guest is Mr. Moses Mwangi Wanjiro alias Zangi. Mm-hmm. He is running on a jubilee ticket for Ruiru constituency as an MP. Karibu sana. Asante. Mheshimiwa. Vipi? Karibu sana. Asante. Yes. Mm. Wewe ndio tunaitu tumesikia unaitwa Zangi. Zangi mwenyewe ndio huyu. Yes. Kijana kuguruia mta. Uh-huh. Digedurai. Uh-huh. Na run kwa kiti ya MP. Uh-huh. Jubilee ticket. Uh-huh apa riru mhm eh mtakubwa lakini sasa kwanza mm-hmm. tufahamishe zangi ni nani sisi kwa mtaa tunasikia unaitwa zangi mm-hmm. sasa zangi ni nani zangi ni boy aligroia githurai na pia kuzaliwa nimezaliwa hapo tangu nilikuwa mdogo in 80s hiyo time githurai kulikuwa uh, ni place huko hata kumejengwa kama venye kumejengwa saa hizi nilienda shule uh, hapo kasarandi primary eh tulikuwa natembea e, kutoka Gedurai mpaka Kasarani Primary mm-hmm. secondary nikaenda uh, nika, nilikuwa nimeitwa national lakini juu ya mashida tu za za do sikuweza kuenda mm-hmm. nikaenda Ruru secondary hapo ndio nili, nili somea. lakini baada ya hapo pia kulikuwa unajua hiyo time kulikuwa na challenge mingi sana za kilife pale mtaani so za nyingine unaingia kwa Mangori nikachujua shule nikaenda kumalizia gateway So ulisoma shule ngapi secondary shule mbili tu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mbili tu. Ah uh, hapo hivyo kuna mahali nitereza ni kwa mdogo jo hiyo time kuguru ya mtaani kulikuwa na mashida mo mm-hmm. ya do nini family mm-hmm. mother alikuwa ngatuye anauza anauza uh, mboga hapo gedhurai. Mm-hmm. So family yetu si ati tulikuwa well up tulikuwa tu watu wa chini sana. Lakini nili nilingangana in fact nikakutake back kidogo nikuwa class 5 hivi uh-huh. kuna time tuliletea na ngori na madhi uh-huh. juu sasa mimi naona naona kuna vile uh, spati food home nini so at one time kuna time na kumbuka tulipatingi ways mimi nikaenda mtaani nikakuwa chokosh uh, hapo gedho hata kuna best yangu anaitwa Rokongo sana hapo ndio alikuwa best yangu na sahi sahi yenye tumejilea because na tuli reform uh-huh. at some point we come to reform tukakuwa focus nikarudi shule na nika focus na life at least uh, and that's why ndio ndi nimefika hapa so after high school nikafanya ma odd job nikaenda kwa mje hii mm-hmm. kwenda kwa mje hii nika save kama 2 years alafu hapo kwa mjengo ulikuwa unafanya nilikuwa na kazi ya kusafirisha mawe bana mm-hmm. eh gedho tu hao tukijengwa mm-hmm. unabeba dimanga kutoka chini mpaka juu nalipwa 50 cent hiyo time radhumuni eh radhumuni 50 cent eh 50 cent bana pa stone pa stone mm. manze so unangengana So eh, nikangana kabisa nika save save some money mm-hmm. kwa sako tu hapo mtaani mm-hmm. juu nilikuwa na desire kwenda shule sasa unataka kusema nyumba ambazo ziko gidurai mm. umechangia sana kuzijenga like literally ama physically eh eh nimejenga nyumba kadhaa hapo mm-hmm. gedho sengine ulikuwa na, juu nilikuwa mdogo na sikuwa na nguvu sana so unabeba tule tumae tudogo tudogo na saa zingine unaekwa pale kwa simiti mm-hmm unaeka simiti sa ile time ya koroga juu ni kuchota ukiweka kwa ile mashini ya, ya, ya koroga nikasave nikasave do alafu uh, nilikuwa nilikuwa boy wa church wenye nilichange ile coming nikakuwa boy wa church uh, so nilikuwa na church inaitwa life reformation center mm-hmm. and uh, pastor njoroge 
ndio lile nanga nikampatia vision yangu ya life akaamua tani atakuwa kinilipia part of the school fees so ni nikaenda kole Kiambu Institute of Science and Technology nikasoma nikasoma mambo ya building hapo alafu yeah. baadaye kumbe mjengo imekupeleka shule <laughs> eh ilipeleka shule <laughs> na ukasomea tu kujenga eh nikasomea kujenga mm-hmm. e, nikasoma nilikuwa nafanya uh, building craft mm-hmm. kutoka hapo nikakuja mtaani nika set up ka workshop ka kuuza vitu za mbao tumeza meza nilikuwa na natengeneza tumeza naenda kuuza hapo hivyo kwa stage majioni watu wakitoka na, na, na nini na wauzia mm-hmm. napata za unga napata za hao nini juu nilikuwa najikalisha so niko tuka hiyo harakati tu ya ku, kujijenga nilikuwa na vision kubwa nilikuwa nataka kufanya degree hapo mtaani nikaanza kufanya tu activities juu nimekuwa nga mtutua kwa na hati ya kusaidia uh, community sana tukaanza na mambo ya drug awareness uh, mambo ya mambo ya kusensitize community na mavijana stories za drug abuse mambo ya crime na nini tukaform ka CBO so kuform au ka CBO ndio ni kama kalinipelekanga kwa the NGO sector kwa sababu sasa nikiwa hapo tulikuwa na program tulikuwa nafanyanga na World Vision so walikuwa na kamingi mtani wana to train life skills nini so una pikipiki vitu hivyo so nikaanza kuona hii ningetaka kuwa trainer so nikaona acha nianze kufanya community development so nikaanza pale chini nikafanya diploma e, nikakaa nikafanya degree nikapata bachelor of arts in community development uh, St Paul's University and uh, nika, hapo hapo sasa ndi already nilikuwa nishaanza na like kufanya job sasa kwa NGO sector so mm-hmm. nilikuwa na job uh, ilikuwa opening ilikuwa mekampoa nilikuwa nafanya job na an international NGO from US na tulikuwa nafanya na different communities uh, in Kenya so uh, m- nimekuwa frontline kwa mambo ya maendeleo in terms of uh, kusaidia watoto uh, in fact kuna watoto at some point tulipeleka US for exchange program mm-hmm. kaka huko mo 6 months uh, tukawaleta back uh, so hapa tu ni ilikuwa collection of different kids mm-hmm. from a uh, children home mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. half ilikuwa from children home mm-hmm. na wengine walikuwa from nini mtaani kidhurai eh ilikuwa nimewapeleka kwa inaitwa Daraja Children's Square mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimewapeleka US alafu hapo hapo nimetembea different communities kwa hii country i mean eh, kwa hii country nimeenda counties mingi sana na mambo ya maendeleo Masai land mm-hmm. nimeenda Turkana nimeenda Marsabit na nimeona challenges zenye, zenye watu wako nazo at the same same time kidogo nilikuwa najaribu kuona venye naweza mtaa yangu so kukuwa na activity ayu, nilikuwa na tag along na kama nasaidia mahali naweza and uh, nikakuwa for in the NGO sector for almost 14 years mm. uh, that, nikatoka sana nikaenda to my own uh, private practice uh, that is a lot of consultancy in different sectors in government na uh, NGOs uh, you know kama kama train na bado kama consultant so nikaanza kuona hii community yangu nijitoe you know uh, siasa si ati ni rahisi lakini ukipapas kwa hati yako kupasuu kitu unapapa so nikasema hata mimi wacha niingie kwa uwanja unaweza tutajia projects eh, kadhaa ambazo umekuwa involved in ni issue ya support both boy child na girl child because me na believe na kitu inaitwa holistic development usi develop girl child na uache boy child mm-hmm. lazima tuone venye utajenga watu wawili juu hata mimi eh, mimi ni married si ndio niko na watu both wat, eh, wasichana na niko na boy hawa tu wote ni wangu lazima ni wa develop wote to the best Mungu atanisaidia so that waki grow uh, wataweza kujisaidia na wasaidia watu wengine so mimi na kwanga believe na, na, believer of holistic development lazima tujenge hawa watu wote so kuna project nimefanya za kusaidia watu wina uniform pale mtaani wenye wamerarukiwa because of my own personal experience some time back nikuwa shule Yaani nguo ilikuwa imeraduka kishot naona watu wana ni poke holes because ya the level of poverty ingine tulikuwa nayo. Hapo ndio sasa wewe hapa uko hapa. Ndio huu boy boy. <laughs> Unaona hata nimevaa nguo different na wengine. Ehe. <laughs> eh, ona tu magoti. Mm. <laughs> so nikasema God akai ni bless. Sisi tutakuwa na mtu akitembea na nguo imeraduka raduka. So nimefanya a few project uh, watu ikadha mtaani na outside. Ya pili ni mambo ya mentorship tume nime nimekuwa nikiongelesha student across 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 Kenya even uh, 
even one of the program moja ni ya ni ya our mom eh, nani eh, mama mama ngena eh, inaitangwa pure as program have been a mentor there watoto wa Kenya eh, Kenyatta Trust pia nimekuwa nime get forum na wao kuogelesha tu vijana kuonyesha how you can shape your life just sharing personal experience the life unapanga hawa to you hope because i think each generation sometimes kitu ina wanakosa wengine ni your hope kujiamini wewe mwenyewe from your inside and you can see all this is uh, letters of appreciation from different kids from all over Kenya uh, on how we have impacted their lives. Yeah, uh, uh, here you can see Yvonne Cherop, mm. uh, Emma Lepshuna, Lepshuna. Mm. Uh, Kevin we have Kevin Mumo, Margaret Muga. Margaret Muga. How do you feel when you receive such letters? Well, it, it humbles me uh, to always follow the path of uh, always wanting to become better. Uh, because there are people who are looking at us pingine tu ni 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 ile ku support hustle ile watu wanafanyanga mtaani maboys unakutangaza zingine watu wako na ideas lakini hawana support so mimi naangalia anga what i can come in based on the felt need felt need ile mtu yani unasaidia ile kitu ina affect huo mtu sio wewe wenyewe unafikiria so tumefanya project hapo kidogo kuinua vijana mambo ya sports pia ku promote sa zingine kama kuna boxing eh, maybe ni uh, kuna watu wanachezanga ball hana access maybe ya vitu kama ball vitu kidogo kidogo juu mtu saidia kulingana na na uwezo yako ya mfuko mm-hmm. na pia ku empower some women to my empower ambao ni group ya women wanakuanga na epilepsy tume inaenda inaitangwa Kisarem Foundation tumekuwa tuko sana karibu na wao so, wanafunza skills na pia wanasaidianga wale watu wako na epilepsy na mambo ya madawa Na promote na promote kijana kama huyo talent yake kama ni kumba yeye tantebo kuna resources kwa uh, kwa gava hapa ndio na zaangia alikuja akatusaidia tukapata mashini hii idea ndio idea kwanza ilitoa vijana kwa street juka mimi senior nilikuja jua ikaosha kwa hivyo tulianza kuosha na mkono Nangia kakuja tuka register group tukapata mashini ya gava ingie kazi hapa na vijana wengi wako hapa ni mariforma ukisema ni mariforma ni kumaanisha nini tumewatoa wengine kwa crime mimi alikuwa mwizi ameshikwa sana ameachiliwa sasa mara ya mwisho tukimleta hapa kwa kao sana naona ni jopoa kisha hii gari anapata doe yake so tatu so nne sasa kisha gari tatu anapata pata pesa ya kulipa hao unaona wengine hata wameoa through hii project kao unaona na hiyo tena imesaidia pia eh, kuna project zingine kuna hiyo see from the street iko ni na feeding program ya street children street children tunapikia chakula hapa tuna dinara dogo na zaidi ni kuwa discourage hiyo maisha wanaishi warudi kwa life life poor kuna wale tumerudisha mpaka shule hata wa kwanza amemaliza class 8 ame score 359 marks za kwanza unaona so hiyo ni project poor na nizangi pia alileteza idea zote amekuwa very supportive chakula ni analeta link ni ana tuonesha mali tutapata link za kupata hiyo support juu na jua ku deal na watu hii ni ngumu lazima upate support hata kama si gava mostly unakutana na leta maingio tunaona hii area yote sasa hizi miti hisa ni mavijana wetu hapo wa mtaani wame wame grow hii ili kwa repelia land zingine kuna trash ilikuwa ina mwango hapa so hii youth inaitwa small axe hii miti yote unaona hapa huko na yeni wamepanda hizi miti zote na unaona nini so tukiingia hapa ndani uta uone more zile activity wanafanya jina small axe environmental youth group tulitoa kwa ngoma moja ya bob male ambayo inaitwa small axe Uh, actually ni proverbial jo rasema the small axe that cuts the big trees sasa si tuliweka vice versa actually ni irony si ni kupanda miti lakini tukajiita small axe sababu tulikuwa na ambition ya kufanya big things uh, environmental conservation tume manage kubadilisha place ili kuanga dump site into a recreation green zone hii place ayo kiangalia um, watu kuja ku frequent ku enjoy weather na for recreation so ili kuanga dump site kitambo kuanza kupanda miti pole pole so tukaona kupanda miti peke yake actually kuna kitu kilikuwa inatupea so ndio zangia ka introduce kwa the ngo world tukaanza kuenda ka training za empowerment tukaanza ka kuenda training za ku develop character zetu skills development na most of us sasa wakakamo wakajirealize kama mi for example siko na jua naweza kuwa leader 
but through these initiatives of empowerment and what have you kakuja ku realize ala kumbe naweza fanya hii kumbe naweza fanya hii i can lead people so eh sahi tume manage hata eh, through your initiative yake ya ku empower tulifundishwa mambo ya resource mobilization so resource mobilization ndio tusaidia sana cuz hata kuna proposal ame to guide kuandika na tukapata funding ya ngiriso tano mara mbili fast forward saa hii na uzanga kuku na uzanga mayai na hakuna maalum ya advertise wateja washaji wanga zinakuanga huku uh, picha yangu ya zangia kwa MP mimi naona kwanza kabisa my youth wenye tunashinanga tukisema my youth my youth yeye ana focus sana na youth na ana focus na youth juu ya mejijenga akiwa youth na hata hata saa hii bado hajakuwa buda so sangi akiingia kwa kiti eh em yake sana inakuangania empowerment eh si mtu wa handouts anashikanga vijana anasikiza problem yenu alafu anawa connect na mahali mnaweza saidika the guy is connected by the way zile places ametusaidia kupenya penya wale watu wametusaidia kuona ndio wametusaidia kufika mahali tumefika saa hii so zangia kiwa mp mimi naona ruru yenye iko na maendeleo ruru yenye iko na vijana wenye wanaona mbele na wako self reliant Uh, mimi naona ruru yenye wa mama watakuanga wanafanya shughuli zao vizuri kabisa kwa sababu zangi eh, ako connected na NGO and the NGO world na anajua mali pa, 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 pa zile milango za kunok Muhesha huko enda group of schools na lugha yako ama lugha yenye unaongea ni lugha ya mta mm. na pia naona we ni mtu wa blings yeah. unaweza toleza kidogo kuhusu mbona unapenda blings <laughs> Hapa <laughs> unajua kila mtu anakongala swagi yake. Mimi <laughs> nataka tu kuwa mtu kasho sana. I'm I am both professional <laughs> by the way. Uh, we can engage in a, in, in a professional dialogue. In a, in a, in a very professional Set dialogue and setting. And uh, probably with good English. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the way for me I craft my identity. <laughs> Mimi na believe we kuwa wewe. <laughs> una get. <laughs> we unapenda kuvaa suti wa fasuti. Kwa unapenda kuvaa bling ni sawa mm-hmm. lakini pia mimi napenda njaro ya mtaa <laughs> na reason why mimi napenda njaro ya mtaa ni hiyo eh. ni identity ni hiyo ni place uli grow kama mzungu ako na pride because alifunzo ali grow akigrow kizungu kama mu America ama mu Swedish ama mu nini hata mimi ni allow ni, ni kuwa na hiyo identity yangu ya as long as eh, nafanya zile vitu zinafaa mm-hmm. niko passionate about my community niko passionate about my country niko passionate about kuna the next generation niki rise mm-hmm. eh, i think tunafaa tupe opportunity pia sisi to express mm-hmm. vile tunafaa all right yes e, wakati hauko kwa, kwa projects mm. hauko kwa ngos hauko yeah. kwa masai hauko hapa ruiru ama nidhurai mm. unapenda kujihusisha na mambo gani what are your hobbies hobbies zangu mimi napenda ku watch ball lakini like, ball mimi na watch mm-hmm. sisi jiza kina man you na nini mimi mm-hmm. ni nika watch ball kama ya nidhurai all stars sasa zile ni kona type. Mm-hmm. Yusa zingine kuna time pia kuna vitu maybe una push kabisa hapa na pale. Eh. Second thing, mi napenda napenda ku drive sana. So I like sightseeing. So as long as maybe ni weekend, nataka kwenda to a different place. Nachukua barabara niende place kama Nyeri, Meru, nirudi hivyo. Eh, napenda hizo masafari sana. Ama niende kwa park nikaone animals tu ku drive na watoi na nini. Mm-hmm huko ni kwa na managing project so mm-hmm. ah, ni missionaries walikuwa na kama mm-hmm. tunafanya kazi like tunaenda na huku kambali tunafanya project kama ni ya mjengo kujenga shule mm-hmm. then we have a one day ya watu wanaenda kuona hot you know uh, tabia ya Kenya mm-hmm. but ni ile tourism with a difference unaleta watu lakini kufanya community project uh-huh. na pia na enjoying swimming mm-hmm. eh okay. kwa kwa hivyo pale hivyo ka CDF kakiweza pale hivyo mtaani nitaeka ka swimoka public <laughs> ndio pia weekend unaenda na. Eh tunaenda kusiwa hapo hiyo. Eh. Aya. Na what kind of music do you listen to? Ah mimi mtu wa reggae. Unfortunately Mta, bro. Nilisimama. Reggae ah, stop. Acha nikushuhu. No. Reggae stop. Reggae uh, my friend. Mm-hmm. You don't have dread to be rasta. Eh. You don't have dread to be rasta. Hata kama alisema imesimama si tutazidi kusikiza re. Ah, amtavuka rumba. Ah, hiyo unajua rumba ah pana. Rumba atusikizi na ohangla atusikizi. Bibi napenda reggae. Hata tukiana nawe kwa gari utasikia tu. 
magonga ni rege mm-hmm. ndio nape kazi sikizi rege mm-hmm. napenda gospel worship hivi unaona jumi ni mtu anapenda god mm-hmm. napenda kusikiza at least ndasikiza worship lakini the main music bro nataka ningekuwa pastor mm-hmm. acha changu ni kwa na parigi mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> with your favorite reggae artist bob mali bob mali eh yeah. si tugongeka moja kake wala one ha let get together and feel alright ah thank you <laughs> <laughs> hata kuimba unaweza eh, eh, eh. imagine au hiyo ni kwa class four mwalimu aliniambia ngazi siwezi imba ah sasa mini dreams zangu za kuimba tulileta nianga hapo eh, eh. okay <laughs> Mm-hmm. Na naona wewe ni mtu wa kusoma eh. Kabisa umejaza kwa nyumba. <laughs> Unafungua library. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi napenda kusoma. Uh-huh. And the reason I love books uh-huh. it's uh, because it gives you uh, a different perspective about things uh-huh. and how people look at things from a universe of thoughts. Uh-huh. I like looking at things from a universe of thoughts. Uh-huh. If you look at my books like uh, one of my ikitabu uh-huh. I read it first when I was I was feeling hopeless when mm-hmm. I left uh, my form 4. Mm-hmm. Njengo I read this book on I really encourage sana. Papa's Driven is one of my uh, 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 my favorite book. Mm-hmm. Papa's Driven. Sijika umesoma. Mm-hmm. Nimeipitia pitia. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, because at the workplace sometimes una deal na mambo ya leadership na nini. Mm-hmm. So unaona kama hii ni a effective team leadership. Mm-hmm. Why Africa is poor mm-hmm. by Greg Mills to so have an interesting a book mm-hmm. uh, kuna mambo ya economic development mm-hmm. currently this is what i'm reading how really? the mighty fall uh-huh. um, i have different types of books ranging from uh, personal development mm-hmm. economics mm-hmm. um uh, finance religion mm-hmm. you know christianity and all that stuff na hiyo ya manhood Uh, the dudes guide to manhood <laughs> sasa hii uh, ni yetu sasa hii ni yetu sasa <laughs> men men maana alikuwa kwambia men wana need kuongea bana yeah. yes we need, craft, yeah, we need to craft we need to to craft dialogue mm. mambo ya ya manhood bana mm, mm. lazima tuchukue our rightful place eh? sure. in the society mm. so unaona pale nitakujia hii mm, yeah, yeah that one uh, uh, unaweza une soma yes. so my books ranges from different different uh, um, philosophy religion all that stuff an interesting one there the end of poverty the end of poverty mm. is basically a book from jeffrey sachs mm-hmm. one guy admire on his uh, approach to issues of development mm-hmm. and how you can end poverty it's still a di- it's still a dialogue within the the this, you know the the scholars in issues to do with community development mm-hmm. you know, how can we end poverty How can we improve our society and all that stuff? Na favorite food yako ni chakula gani mama akikupikia unaona sasa um, yani uko home kabisa. Eh hey fish. Uh-huh. Hey fish bana. Eh hey, ngeitwa ozangi. <laughs> Ikapigwa na the cooler days. Eh hey. hey, mimi napenda fish. Mm-hmm. Hey. Sasa mm. umesema uko na watoto. Mm. Uh, both a boy, girls, uh, girls and a boy. And a boy. Hey. Hey, hivyo ni kumaanisha uko na familia. Eh hey, niko na familia? Mm-hmm. Uh, mimi ni mimi got married in 2009 uh, through a church wedding ni demamu uh, nilipata anga tulipata anga college mhm so mimi nilipata na nitoka na diploma mbili diploma na mtoto ya kujenga mimi na mimi na mtoto mtoto na mtoto ulitoka na diploma ya kujenga na na ni na na nikatoka na nikatoka na mtoto okay mlipata na huko tulipata na huko eh amazingly wewe sasa bibi nilikuwa jawab mzoto sana sasa bibi ile time nilikuwa mbele second year yeye ndiye alikuwa anaingia first year eh sasa bibi nilikuwa naanga yelo yelo fulani hapo wao sasa nikauliza mtu fanya nini kugarde kama huyu so tukakuwa watu wa best alafu eh kumaliza shule after like 3 years nikaenda kufanya shopping mahali na kumat. Uh-huh. Eh nikaangalia demu kwa nani demu hizi kinamjua. Ah kama yule demu tuliko ngana na nanga kwa kole. Uh-huh. So tukakao ma best. Uh-huh. Alafu hiyo time at least nilikuwa ni work hard ninge afford to buy at least ka coffee. Sasa at least nikaza kumbaia ka coffee. Ah nikamponyesha tu akaka fresh. Uh-huh. Ah si sasa nikamuingiza box. <laughs> sasa tukaenda Ah uh, jumi mimi ni mtu pia hiyo time yenye nilifomu niligrow ya church uh-huh. so tukaenda through ile church process marriage counseling na ilikuwa poa jo at least ile una at least marriage counseling mimi naza encourage 
kabla hatu wane kaune the na marriage counseling ni viti mm-hmm. uh, before to get married to enda through your marriage counseling na unajua kaa saa mimi ni mtu ulikuwa nilikuwa na mabagage mingi sana kwa life past yangu venye ilikuwa mahasols za life family issues na nini so ili hiyo kazi lingi ilisaidi yanga eh, because now we are married for 13 years unajua ilikuwa na issues mm-hmm. eh, life mekuwa support yangu number one kwa sasa unaona yeye kwanza toka die vote namba 001 sasa mm-hmm. vote sasa kura yake at least najua nitapata eh, eh, eh. <laughs> zangi mm. to define here e constituency unasimama rural constituency eh, how many wards mm. eh, population wewe unaiona aje eh, rural constituency it eco currently probably with over 600,000 people iko na 8 wards wards 8 it's a big constituency because eh, watu ni wengi mahitaji ni wengi resources ni kidogo zile zinatoka kwa serikali mm-hmm. na one of my my vision for Ruru and I also want to take you back juzi tumepata judgment ya BBI mm-hmm. mimi ni wale ambao walikuwa na huzunika kidogo filosofia yangu ni kwamba uh, ulikuwa na huzunika kwa nini na huzunika kwa sababu mm-hmm. For me naona ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni document nzuri oh, so ulikuwa ni support ilikuwa ni support na sasa imekuwa nullified mm-hmm. which ni sawa because mm-hmm. uh, watu wako na different opinions mm-hmm. lakini opinion yangu ilikuwa ni hii nikikoangalia rural constituency nafanya comparison if i do a comparative analysis with a cost uh, cost uh, like with the lamb county mm-hmm with all, with about what about uh, 259000 ama 300000 people mm-hmm. thereof it has two constituencies and it's a county sisi hapa ni constituency iko na 600000 people mm-hmm. tuko na only one constituency hiyo ni constituency royal ni constituency royal ni constituency moja with 600 mm-hmm. lamu ni constituency with uh, maybe say population may increase when compared to the last uh, election they had about 259 something hiyo ni county hiyo ni hiyo hiyo ni county mm-hmm. so inamaanisha like lamu county uh, being a county it is equivalent to uh, a constituency a constituency which is rural mm-hmm. like two of them unaona <laughs> so mimi nikiangalia mambo ya resource allocation na representation haiendani haiendani shi sawa mm-hmm. so Uh, that is why you were supporting BBI. Mimi ndio nilikuwa support BBI. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ukiangalia eh, inamaanisha kuna hakuna equality pale. Hakuna equality in terms of zile dozi na kam. Eh, you know one man one vote one shilling. Inamaanisha wale bado watazidi ku, kuendelea more because allocation per mtu inamaanisha anapata more money than ule mtu wako rural constituency. So tuko disadvantaged. Ukiangalia mambo kama sasa unakuta basari basari allocation kwa past student na kwa ingine iko chini. Sisi labda u, ile unaweza peana uh, mingi sana kama ni ya university labda ka 7k ka 8000 hapo. Wezi pita hapo atiko utaona wati unaweza patia mtu mmoja kama 25k. So kilinganisha na hiyo lamu bado iko na constituency mbili, lamu east na west. Ukidivide hao watu, unakutana the number of student wenye wanaenda university compared na yetu ni kidogo. So labda huwa anaweza konga hata anaweza wapatia ka 30k hapa uwezi hiyo ni story so kuna kuna vitu uh, mimi eh, nilikuwa mbunge hizo ni vitu zingine mimi lazima nitazicheki kwa sababu zina affect venye watu wanaishi na prog- na progress na development ya watu we can be able to tutengeneze ama tu tujadiliane to improve maybe eh, the barriers that maybe make those companies more to make them more effective Uh, and what i mean is uh, what leverage will we bring between the policy and the manufacturing industry so that they can create more employment um, how can we negotiate for 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 good um, whether it's things to do with the the, the, the production process uh, the cost uh, remuneration maybe from the government to this manufacturing industry within my constituency to create more employment because when you have more industries in a constituency it creates more employment to the people to the young people who are getting out of universities and therefore it means you you you, you create you create a more employment to these young 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 people and to the populace mm-hmm. so my agenda is to work alongside also the business community in rural 
you know, you know, in, 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 and, and my approach is more of a dialogical approach to issues. Ukikutana na wao, mm. what kind of needs or ama hiyo unaita felt need ukikutana na wao, wanakueleza nini ama wanakuuliza nini? Kuna place unaenda watu wanakuambia by the way, tusaidie na unga. Unga ya kupika. Unga ya kupika. <laughs> sio eh, pesa. Sio pesa. Na hiyo inakuonyesha post hii mambo ya covid post post eh, covid period imekuwa hard kwa watu wengi in terms of eh, kukuwa na income because eh, wakati mtu anakuomba unga inamaanisha amefika almost mwisho ana ana source of income so issue ya ku provide an environment kwa watu hata watu small business ku create employment kwa watu both youth women na pia men eh, is still a challenge sa hizi watu wa ruru mimi kama Moses Mwangi ah mlanitanga najulikana kama Zangi na waomba ah kwa unyenyekevu wenu kama kijana ambaye amegurulia kwa hiyo mta mjitokeze kwa wingi time ya nomination na muni vote in kama the next member of parliament wa Ruru constituency na ndio tuweze kuwa na at least mtu anayeweza jali masuala yetu na kiongozi ambaye ako na msimamo Tusichague viongozi ambao hawana msimamo. Asante. Watu wa Roiro, that is Zangi, mm-hmm. also known as Moses Mwangi wa Njiro, and anasema hata kama itakuwa mix and match yake umpatie ya MP. This has been Tuko Siasa this week. My name is Kingori Wangeshi. Let's meet next week with yet another political interview where we'll understand more political issues. Mm-hmm. Remember the journey to 1 million subscribers on Tuko is on. Therefore tell a friend and a friend and a voter and another one to subscribe on Tuko for us to get 1 million subscribers. See you next week.